that's the old one, yeah. Are you going to use it again, are you? Uh, well, it's, this piece of skin here is original build spec. Yeah. And um, although they, they cut through it there when they were used it for filming, this, this is a reinforcing uh, piece here that actually goes all the way up. It's actually reinforcing for the, um, the crew door. Yeah. Obviously, you, 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 you cut, cut a large hole in the structure, you don't have to reinforce the area around it. So, um, not only is this uh, double skinned, just here there's another reinforcing strip. It's triple skinned here. Triple skin, what? Yeah. All close together. Three sandwiched together, that's yeah. right. You've got the external skin there, which is on the floor. Yeah. Uh, there's the, the crew access there. You've got this reinforcing plate here around the whole door aperture, made up of two C sections. And there is also then a doubler inside here, just around the edge all the way around. So well, on really, the inside, yeah, on the inside. So they've really strengthened the. They needed to strengthen the structure because obviously yeah. you've cut out all of those strings. Yeah that would, would go there uh, and lose them a lot of the string. That there is, um, I've been informed, uh, this here was, a, a, the Canadians actually put a window in there uh, that was out of the B25 Mitchell. Uh, they've obviously removed the window at some point and reinstated the skin structure. Of course, when you put a window inside, uh, uh, you weaken the structure again, so you have to put a reinforcing plate on the top. So. Um, that was unique to the Canadian uh, oh. yeah. Yeah, so at the moment what I'm trying to do is see if I can dress all of this skin out. Um, it's damaged, bearing in mind this is not going to go flying, it's just taxiing only. Yeah. Uh, if I can save this piece of skin here, this reinforcing plate, that means we're going to put brand new skin on the outside, uh, new stringers and so on, and, and that will restore its structural integrity. Yeah. Certainly stronger, um, a strong enough for taxiing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, thanks, Phil. What happened? I mean, what happened to this aircraft? Did it come down in Wilson Island, was it? Yeah, Wallace Island. Wallace which Island, is, which is in the Pacific. Yeah. Um, it was going there to pick up uh, somebody to go to the hospital, I think it was. And I had a major hydraulic leak, um, and you only only be able to drop the flaps, something like seven percent or something, which is not a lot. Mm. So it was a pretty fast landing. And they were still go, going at some speed when they're coming towards the end of the runway. So the pilot decided to do a controlled ground loop, which was sort of turning at the end. Yeah. So they could slow down. But unfortunately, there was a grass filled ditch, which main, the starboard main wheel went in there, ripped the wheel off, and that wing hit the ground, and that was the end of it. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. the French deemed it um, beyond repair and, and abandoned it, basically. So it is out there on that field for quite some time then? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, sat at the... Uh, just just off a, a road near the airfield. They, they put the wheel back on it. And just standing there and it got robbed. Um, 
part, part of the seat went to a hairdresser's or something, or to a dentist I think it was. He uses a dentist chair. Various other bits have been robbed out, as you can see by the holes in the wing and that. Mm. But to get control cables out and rods and that, anything useful. The flap was probably taken and used as a fence. So there's a fence made of a Lancaster flap somewhere on Walsall <laughs> Island, I'd say. And uh, but the worst, worst thing that happened to it was all the locals threw stones at it. Yeah. Because yeah. they thought there was evil spirits in it, because when it, when it expanded and contracted, and drones and it, ooh, mm -hmm. they used to throw stones on it. So what are you treating it with? Deoxidine 624, which is phosphoric acid. And that stops it to hold it up again, does it? Well no, all, all it does is it um, deoxidizes the surface in the material and where the because you can you can't grind all of the, you know, the corrosion out. You just no. Because some of it you can't even see, because it gets in between the in the granular structure of the material. Yeah. So this stuff, it soaks into the material, and um, soaks into the corrosion that's left there, and encapsulates it, oh. and it retards it. You, yeah. You know, so it will, rather than it, kind of corroding away in six months, it'll probably corrode away in ten years. Yeah, yeah. Is that similar to what we use on cars, um, rust cure? No, no. No. That's for steel. This is purely for aluminium. Yeah. yeah you can't use it on uh, any other material other than aluminium. No. Because if it was, um, if it was magnesium, you have to use a, a stuff called selenic acid. And that, that's pretty dangerous stuff, that was, yeah. that's really nasty. Because yeah. if you put that stuff on magnesium, it fizzes, not any bit, yeah. as, it, as it reacts with the magnesium. Mm. So that's some, sometimes, you know, you put it on and it's, yeah. some parts have got a magnesium part on it and you'll see the bit fizz, so you wash it off quickly. Yeah. The trouble with the older stuff, you know, so much stuff back in that time was made with magnesium. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they, they need dressing and uh, mm. a bit of TLC. Yeah. That's something we've got. Not that one, you see. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, done the repair on that, yeah. No, yeah. I've, I've just knocked all the stuff all the damage bit where it was all peeled back I've knocked it roughly flat. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I'll get round to repairing it at some point. Yeah. Okay. Let's put this on and leave it on for about yeah. half hour or so. Alright, thanks Keith, that was good.